What's up you guys? So we're back with another video. Um, I'm actually going to be showing you how to use this Fortify Quick Coat from Shine Armor. And I did a video previously on the ZL1 and on the Jeep showing how it reacted with the paint. But now um, I actually want to try it on my windshield because it says that you're, you're able to apply it to uh, glass. So I want to see if it has that same effect where the water beads up and maybe we can see a more significant effect on the windshield rather than on the paint because like I said the paint on the Camaro itself was already kind of treated it was waxed but that's about it <clears throat> so I'm hoping that we can see a big difference so if you come over here um, I've already laid out a strip of uh, painters tape or masking tape so that we can see the difference of what it's like for it to be treated and not treated and then we're going to pour water along each side, see the difference. And then I think what we're also gonna do is um, get a sponge and either a sponge or I don't know, something I can find and place it at the top. Because the company, like I said, they messaged me and they claimed that if I, they wanted me to put this bottle on my paint and, and, and show the difference of how it slides on my paint when it's treated and when it's not treated. And I'm like, you, you really want me to put this bottle on my paint and just, risk scratching it especially the bottom of this isn't soft um this part is kind of like rigid like you're gonna tell me to just shine armor no no disrespect but like come on you can't tell your customers to do that but we're gonna go ahead and try it on the windshield um either gonna i don't know we'll put like uh, i don't know some sponge or something to to see if um, it's more slick after it's been treated. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and try it and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so the instructions on here say that you should spray um, this, the, the product onto a damp microfiber towel. So I went ahead and sprayed some water on this so it's damp, it's not wet. Um, and then it says um, to spray it on the area, approximately three by three foot areas is like how big you wanna go. You wanna do it per section. In our case, we're just doing this little section right here. Um, and then it says, gently wipe the surface with the first cloth, and then, meaning this one, and then quickly switch to another clean folded cloth and buff off the haze. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, and then I'm just gonna reverse it, um, cause it's gonna be dry on the other side, and go ahead and buff it out and see what it does. And it just says repeat until the entire vehicle is clean, streak free. Um, and it says multi-use, safe to use on glass, paint, metal, plastic, indoors and outdoors. So it should work. So we're gonna go ahead and start spraying this. So actually, you spray. Feels like it's locked up almost. So there's a little locking mechanism on the bottom here. It's not on the knob, it's or on the little nozzle. It's like right, right down here. There we go. So you spray the towel. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this area too. It smells good. It smells kind of like grapeish, kind of. So you're gonna rub this on, right? And so then after you do this, you're supposed to buff it out, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. So that's really coated on there. And we don't have any excuses as to why this shouldn't work. So now that it's kind of hazy, now I'm gonna flip it over to the dry side like this. And I'm gonna buff this out. So it's, it's feeling pretty slick just from like going like this. It feels definitely the, the towel is sliding on the glass. Okay, so now that that's buffed out, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run inside, I'm gonna grab some water. Or actually, I'm gonna fill up that little nozzle. I'm gonna grab some water, put this down here. Okay, I'm gonna grab some water. We're gonna pour water here and here at the same time and see what kind of difference we see. Um, and well, to start, I have a spray nozzle with water. Let's start by spraying it so it beads up and see what it does. So come in closer. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead, this is the treated side, and this is not treated. So first we're gonna spray the not treated side. Okay, you guys see that? It's kinda just sitting there. Um, I haven't applied too much water, but that's, that's what it's doing so far. Little beads here and there. Now let's try this one. 
Um, so far, not a big difference. Again, you're seeing water beat up here. You're seeing water beat up around, like, you know, for the most part and, and most of the surface. From what I can tell, there's no significant difference so far if water was just to like mist on your car. I mean, it is beating up here, but again, it's beating up over here. No real difference. So now we're going to get the water. Actually, you know what? I have water in here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and then um, if we need to, we'll get more water. But let's see what happens. So this is the treated side, this is the non-treated side. So here's for the non-treated. Okay, treated. I don't know, I can't. You can hear it draining out, but I don't, I don't see a difference. Like, look, this was just treated. This was just treated. You can see, like you can, yes, you can see these beads. I'll give it to them. Like they're, they're slowly moving because you can tell the surface is, is slick. I don't know if you guys, can you guys see that? Um, the surface is pretty slick and look, you see it running down. So obviously there's like, look at that. There's some coating on here, but look, look over there. See that one moving down? It just moved. It's it's not, and this again, right here. It's, I don't know. It's not making a significant difference and I'm not, I'm not bashing them um, in no means. And I think that the, the, the product is good for maybe cars that are pretty messed up and that really need the treatment. But I mean, I don't know guys, comment down below, let me know what you think. If I'm doing this wrong, let me know. I read the instructions. I even went ahead and um, went pretty heavy on the spray. The goal is to show you guys how this works. And as you guys can see here, I, I don't see any significant difference. So if you're looking for a solution, you know, oh, that was the name, Glass Parency. That's the other company that I was talking about in the last vlog, if you guys saw it, um, where they do a treatment that um, basically makes it so you don't need windshield wipers because the water beads off so quickly um, and maybe I need to take this up maybe I need to take it for a drive or be on the freeway or I don't, I don't know what I need to do but from what I'm seeing right here I'm not seeing a difference that's noticeable enough to be like yeah you need to go buy this product um, I don't know that's just my honest opinion that's what I'm seeing here and I hope that this review helps you guys and I hope that it helps you make a decision in whether you want this product or not. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Actually, before I end the video, um, I'm gonna try one more thing to give them more of a chance to win. I'm gonna try to find something, or not to win, but to justify this. I'm gonna find um, like a sponge or something that I can place on either side to see if one glides down faster than the other because that's their claim that um, if you put the bottle in your paint, it's gonna slide slicker on one on the side that's treated than on the side that's not treated. So give me one second. All right, so I got this clean microfiber towel and I decided, you know what, let's just try it with this because I couldn't find a sponge. So I'm gonna try it and we're gonna see what happens. Again, this is the treated side and this is the not treated side. Let's put it on the not treated side. Okay. All right, so now to make it fair, I'm gonna fold this so that it's not wet on this side. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this side, see what happens. Whoa. Hold on, maybe that was a fluke. Okay, all right. So the glide test is working. Um, that was a big difference. The other one, you could tell it was kind of like sluggish and like grabbing onto like, I don't know, it just wasn't slick this slid right off. So I don't know. I go back and forth. I go back and forth because at first when you spray the water, it has the same exact effect. But then when you put something on it and, and watch it glide and see how slick the surface is, this was a noticeable, a noticeable difference. So like, I don't know. I don't know. 
this is kind of leaving me on like a cliffhanger because I have no idea what to what to guess about it. But um, I mean, you guys saw it, and it, it for sure does something. It for sure protects your paint or 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 um, adds a coating to whatever surface you apply to. I just don't know how long it's going to last and how well it's going to hold up. But um, it's interesting because they told me to put something to put my water or the bottle on it um, so you could see the difference. So it's almost like they 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 know that like it's not going to be a huge difference when it comes to water beating and water moving around. But when it comes to putting something on there to test um, the, the coating that's on whatever layer you put it, or that's on whatever surface you put it on, it works. So, I mean, again, like check it out. It's a huge difference and it's still, it's kind of wet. So I'm going to put on this one. Look. So I don't know, maybe when it's raining and you're driving, you'll see all the water like, psh, like fly up past you. Kind of like how they do in the glass transparency videos. So um, yeah, guys, that was kind of cool. So I hope that helped clear some stuff up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I hope this really helped. And please let me know what you guys think down below, what your experience has been with Shine Armor, if you have any. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe.